Greetings, movie fans, and welcome to the show. Today, we're going to be talking about The Incredible! <laughs> and since we're talking about The Incredibles, I've just got one rule. No caps! I am so excited for the upcoming Incredibles 2. So, to get hyped, let's look back at how our favorite super family came to be in the first Incredibles. It's what they got right with the Incredibles characters. Get your whole family, put your super suit on tight. It's the Incredibles, this is what they got right. Before we get started, I've got to tell you this Incredibles episode contains some incredible spoilers. So, if you haven't already seen The Incredibles, this is your super spoiler warning. Also, it's a great movie. Just watch it already. At the end of The Incredibles, baby Jack-Jack escapes Syndrome by turning into a fireball, heavy metal, and a scary red monster. And as if those powers weren't enough, in early drafts of the script, he was also supposed to change into slimy goo. I'm not 100% sure why they took his goo powers away, but it's probably because babies are messy enough already. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean you. <laughs> I did mean him. <laughs> With her awesome headband and long black hair, Violet is one of the coolest looking characters in The Incredibles. But in some early versions of the film, she was completely bald. Though I guess technically we would never know if she was actually bald, or if she just decided to make her hair invisible. In the first drafts of the Incredibles script, every member of the Parr family could fly. All of them, that is, except Mr. Incredible. And while flying is a cool power, the Parr shouldn't be sad about missing out on it. Now, they don't have to worry about cleaning all those gross in-flight bugs out of their teeth. Ugh, that's one way to get your daily recommended dose of bug juice. The Incredibles movie is named after Mr. Incredible and his superhero family. But the movie wasn't always called The Incredibles. It used to be called The Invincibles. Mr. Invincible and the Invincible family sounds pretty cool. But that's not the only name change the movie went through. Its top secret code name before the movie was announced was Tights. But they changed it because seriously, who wants to be called Mr. Tights? Now, we all know Violet, Dash, Jack-Jack, Mr. Incredible, and Elastigirl. But in early Incredibles concept art, they had one more family member. A giant, hairy, smelly, gross Sasquatch monster. He was probably cut from the film because the Incredibles didn't want to give him flea baths. Syndrome is the main bad guy in The Incredibles, but originally, he was only supposed to be in the first scene. The main bad guy was supposed to be one of Elastigirl's ex-boyfriends, a bald weirdo named Zarek. If I had to choose between a bad guy who's a super genius and a bad guy that looks like the Monopoly man, I'm going to pick the super genius every time. Perfecting all these awesome Incredibles characters took a lot of effort, but thanks to the hard work of everyone at Pixar, we now have one of the coolest superhero families in movie history. And look on the bright side, if Pixar wants to use any of their old Incredibles ideas again, I have a feeling they're gonna have a chance in the near future. Just don't change the name to Tights 2. Thanks for watching What They Got Right. What movie should I talk about next? Let me know below with a comment. Then click up there to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new videos every single day. Until next time, and I mean it, no kicks!